So I'm here with Andy from the Jack Daniels stand. Uh, Andy's a pretty familiar face at, at our whiskey shows, aren't you? How many is this now? I think this would probably be my fourth in a row, fourth whiskey show. I've done both types of whiskey show, American and the international, but I'll always love to be here. We love to have you here. So you're pouring Jack Daniels today. Is uh, safe to say it's one of your favorites? Jack Daniels is my favorite whiskey. I know it seems like I should say that because I'm the brand ambassador for the brand, <laughs> but I loved Jack Daniels a long time before I joined Brown Foreman. It's always been something that I turn to. The old number seven was always a rock star in my bar at home. Uh, but it, yeah, it's amazing to be back here pouring the newest innovations like the Bonded and the Triple Mash and also enjoying everyone else's experience of it too. So yeah, it's been, it's been awesome and I love Jack. No, I love it. As, as someone who's well honed at our whiskey shows, do you find that there's much of a difference between Scotch drinkers and bourbon drinkers? Definitely. I think um, Scotch drinkers are very particular about the varietal, the barrels, the ABV, whereas I think American whiskey drinkers, as far as I have seen, are very passionate about the grain. Um, there are some people that seem to be really off rye or really obsessed with it, and I think the higher ABVs really does kind of create a bit of a divide between you know people's experience of taste. But American whiskey drinkers are a lot more relaxed. Like they, they kind of like rock and roll around a little yeah. bit more. They get super relaxed. They have a good time. Yeah, they're rough and tumble. You know, like yeah. much like myself. So. <laughs> I feel like American whiskey is so perfectly suited to those like rambunctious nights out like it's great for cocktails um, and like there's no kind of pressure to have it neat you can mix it you can do whatever it's like way more playful as a spirit um, Absolutely. yeah so what would you say is your favorite whiskey led cocktail okay um, that's an easy one because at the moment I have had an obsession for about three months at least with a paper plane oh I love a paper plane so if I can't have it with triple mash which is obviously our newest innovation at Jack Daniels I'll have it with Woodford rye um, but I love the mixture of rye of lemon of Amaro Nanino that beautiful kind of Aperol mix in there as well shaken with fresh lemon strained into a beautiful coupette that's heaven and then if you get a great bartender, they make you the little paper yeah, airplane. Yeah, little paper Yee! plane. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Clip the paper plane it's my on favorite, the side. It's my favorite whiskey it's, and my favorite cocktail at the moment. Yeah. It's one of those cocktails, it's hard to find a bar that's got no Nino, but if you do, it is absolutely and worth it's trying. it's the same if they don't, but you can 100%. accept another Amaro if you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Amaro Montenegro will do in a pinch. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah. That's pretty close. A little bit floral, still yeah. herbal. Yeah, no, love I it. love it. Tell me a little bit more about the, uh, the new Jack Daniels Triple Mash. It's the latest bonded to hit Australia. Australia, I believe. Yeah, so it's the second entry into the Bonded series, which will be a series of three. The Bonded Rye, so many people tonight have hounded me about. We don't have it yet, I'm sorry. But uh, the Bonded was the first that came out. That innovation has really kind of changed the game as a really elevated version of Jack Daniels Old Number 7. The Triple Mash is a lot more playful. So Chris Fletcher, Lexi Phillips, the team at Jack Daniels have come up with the innovation of 60% of the mash bill being rye heavy, taken from the Bonded Rye. 20% was the American single malt, which we know is like the Americans making whiskey in the way that the Scots do, right? 100% malted barley. So that's where you get a beautiful toasted honey granola. Um, the last 20% is the bonded. So old number seven, you know, the heart of our whiskey. Um, and all of those are blended together in different amounts, but you get this really mixed and nuanced drinking experience. So you get the rock star of the caramel and rich oak from bonded. Uh, you get the toasted granola and honey of the American single malt. And then you get that beautiful like rye grassiness coming through at the end so I love it I love yeah. it I've been talking about it for hours and I could talk about it for hours more I yeah. love it I think we've been doing the uh, the classic bonded uh, in the slushies and they have been going oh I just had one because I need a little bit of sugar right every now and again but the slushies are off the chain everyone's loving them Jack Daniels and Coke the, the world's most favorite cocktail and then you've got a beautiful lemon lime slushy as well yeah, no, the rye is actually working really well. Yeah? As opposed to the bonded, which we started with. Love it. Love I might it. have to go get another slushy. Please but do. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy Thanks the rest for having of the show. me. And thanks for having us. Yeah, 100%.